Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The Honorable Minister uh, of Housing and Minister and MP for Rima, Penelope Beckles. The Honorable Randall Mitchell, Acting Minister of Sports. The uh, Principal of Rima Boys Government, Mr. Kurt Fleming. QRC representative, Mr. David Simon. Abilene representative, Mr. Shedley Branch. N3A's representative, Mr. J. Hugh Gordon. TOC representative, Mr. Brian Lewis. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the funeral service and final farewell for our brother and friend who has served us well. We begin with a song that will be performed by his cousin, Levon De Leon, singing My Hero. There's a hero If you look inside your heart You don't have to be afraid Of what you are There's an answer if you reach into your soul And the sorrow that you know Will melt away And then a hero comes along With the strength to carry on And you cast your fears aside and you know you can survive When you feel like hope is gone Look inside you and be strong And you'll finally see the truth That a hero lies in you It's a long road When you face the world alone No one reaches out a hand For you to hold You can find love If you search within yourself and the emptiness you fear will disappear And then a hero comes along With the strength to carry on And you cast your fears aside And you know you can survive when you feel like hope is gone Look inside you and be strong And you'll finally see the truth That a hero lies in you The Lord knows Dreams are hard to follow so don't let anyone tear them away Hold on There will be tomorrow And in time you'll find the way Then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on and to cast your fears aside and you know you can survive when you feel like hope is gone 
look inside you and be strong and you'll finally see the truth that a hero lies in you that a hero lies in you Thank you very much. We are now going to go into the tributes. First, I should introduce myself. I'm sorry I didn't do it previously. My name is Holly Bitodier Jr., a proud Arimian, glad to be here, and a staunch supporter of Abilene, as we all are. We would start the tributes with Mr. Darren Sandy. He would be the first person to do tributes in the line of several people who will come up today. Mr. Darren Sun. Mark, set, death. Making another false start, out of breath, was meant for when the lap lasp, your gasp, were always meant to level the lactic, now your last breath has a more literal meaning to it. But we set, we set to remember how you hold off Great Britain, had us sitting on a London podium. We remember the world relays, you were golden in Japan. What do you know about Arima man? We see the man who be on the track would always make sure he helped others attain their personal best, ensuring that he had time. Some would think that he life hand timed and this is not the exact ending, but be on the track. You bend it to make sure that others achieve their personal best and that race that race still running. And that's how we know Dion will always be in the mix. Yeah, that he personal best. 44.36. We now invite Mr. Baliram Maraj. Major Arima supporter and a citizen of Arima and Miss Espinosa to come and give their tributes. Good afternoon, everyone. Father Stephen Duncan, first, I'd like to thank you for giving me the privilege to make a tribute on the celebration of life of Dion Lender, a son of the soil, Mount Pleasant, Arima, Trinidad and Tobago. To his mother, Chris Adainoha, Siblings, all his siblings, other members of the family, I share your grief and pain of the loss of your loved one. Six months ago, I lost my wife. And it's not easy. We know death comes at birth. But when it happens, it's only you, the individuals, Friends, family, neighbors know what it takes. I wish to join the others in the world of track and field to express my deep sorrow and passing of our outstanding son, Dion Lindo, as he celebrates his life. He'll be one among the great athletes who hailed from Arima. And history will record 
that he represented Trinidad in, and Tobago and was able to achieve greatness in his first bronze at the Carifta Games in 2008. To his, his, his heroic performance in Tokyo Games in, in 2021. I am certain that Dion's shortened career will undoubtedly serve as inspiration to all the young athletes in Arima and as a whole, the entire country. Dion had great plans for young athletes. He spoke passionately about his love for the sport and a dream of nurturing him to be among the best in the world. He didn't say Trinidad and Tobago, in the world. That is the love for track and field. Arameans have felt the pain of his untimely passing. As a member of the business community, I call on all business people in Arima to support his wishes, not only on track and field, but overall sports in the community of Arima. I just repeat, I am calling on the business people in Arima to support his wishes, not only in the support of track and field, but overall sports in our community as Arima was once the mecca of sports in Trinidad and Tobago. I don't want to go too long to get names and so on. In the evening, that savannah should be pestered with football, track and field, cricket, basketball, and I'm playing tennis on the other side. Yeah. All that disappear. It's gone. Dion will light up with yeah. icons like George Lewis. Some of you in, in my age will remember George E. Lewis. Mm -hmm. Lennox Sherwood. I ran with Lennox Sherwood and Dr. Clifford Burchon. But I always win. I come to the last or last. Them fellas in front. And there's a lady named Bruce here with a female runner right around the crew. Bruce, I forget the name. This is how it used to be long time in sports in Trinidad and Tobago. Arima was the leading place for sports. Again, ladies and gentlemen, before I forget out, I don't want to forget the Armstrong family. Three generations of track and field. The grandfather, Ernest, Ainsley at my age, and Ainsley's son, Aaron. Where they gone? Where's all these sporting facilities gone in Trinidad? Arima. It's sad for a man like me, who next 20 years is 100 years, and I came from that. There is no thing like sports again. What do you expect your to do? Get into trouble, wrongdoings. Again, my, my senior, sincere condolences to his mother, brothers, sisters, the entire family, not forgetting the neighbors. They live like one, like how Chim Jawi, how Arima used to be, Mount Pleasant, I drop goods there. Neighbor to neighbor. That's how neighbors live a long time. It all disappear. These people have experienced the most traumatic, traumatic period given to them 
in the time frame when this boy passed away on January 10th, the almost two months grieving for the son. And Chrissy only wants to see her son. And the, her determination, determination, God bless her with the help of the government, and we find him here today. To his colleagues in Abilene while chats home, his coach in USA, his friends in the Arima Boys Government School, welcome Mr. Fleming. And the entire Arima community, and Trinidad and Tobago, we, show your, we share your grief and loss to our son Dion. In closing, ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling on the people of Arima to join hands together and strive to bring back the glorious days of sports again in Arima. This will be fitting tribute in memory of a, our licious son, Dion Lendo. May his soul rest in peace and may God bless all of us. I thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Patricia Espinoza, better known as Bird. To the world, he was known as Dion Christopher Lendo, the athlete. But to our small knitted community of Mount Pleasant, Tannis Lane to be exact, he was Dion, D, Kunta, the chain of boss, the ultimate hustler, our hero. When Dion made it, he made us feel like we all made it. He had a way with words. He could make you buy a bachak in a trip room's matches box and then have you wondering what you just spent your money on. He mastered the art of sarcasm. His answer box were always at the tip of his tongue. He surely got that from his mama. Clad in just a puma shorts, a old slippers, his gold chain, and his six pack glistening. If you know, you know. Sometimes I think he did it for spite. I would say, Dion, why you have all the goods outside, boy? And he will just give you the single laugh. <laughs> and then the big bright smile. I home and the place hot. On any given day, if he's not riding in the road, sweating, giving stories of places he had been, or just old talking with Punji, Peng, Bobo, Akim, Dumplin, or Jade, he could be fun with the kids. Dion loved children. He would always charge them a small fee to play a game in his room. That same small fee would go to get them snacks. Just as a mirror reflects one's reflection, so does their life reflect their heart, and Dion had a big heart. People underestimate the value of true friendship and moral support. What would most of our lives be if it wasn't for Dion's involvement? Whether it was his words of wisdom, his constant show of support, his sometimes just wing it advice, or his casual shit-ups, he knew just what everyone needed to hear at the right point in time. His love was reflected not only by his words, but by his deeds. This, to me, made him an extraordinary human being. We as humans always taking time, wasting time, spending time, but confused as to why we never have time. Time has no manual, neither does life. I think I speak for everyone when I say, we can't go forward without saying, thank you, Dion, for being part of our journey called life. As they say, the journey is always better than the destination. We will continue to live in the comfort of knowing that to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. Love always, the Mood set. We now move to Dion's primary school alma mater and ask Mr. Kurt Fleming, the principal of Rima Boys Government School, to come to the podium. Mr. Fleming.
Pleasant good afternoon to everyone. It is indeed my honor today, mixed with a bittersweet experience, to be here this afternoon to bring a tribute to Dion. I look at my phone a while ago there when I sat there on August the 8th at 12.45 a.m. Hello Dion, how are you? I'm going all right, man. What's up? I like the way in which you ran today, man. I will congratulate you on a, on, a, on a leg well run. Conversation began to ensue while he was flying from Tokyo and going back to Houston, Texas on a very long trip. And we began to text each other on the plane and had a wonderful conversation. A conversation that will long be etched in my mind. A conversation that will always run very deep as it relates to his life that I share with him. On that special occasion when we spoke to each other, something that Dion said to me in text was, I love you, love man. Dion, I'm praying for you, boy. What do you want me to pray about? He said, pray for me for health and strength. And the conversation went on for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then when he ended up in transit, we spoke again. And then I spoke to him thereafter, and he said he's landed in Houston. And immediately, I reflected on three years when I went to Houston, Texas, to look and to pay a visit to Dion at Texas a and University. We will sit down in his apartment. One particular occasion in 2019, December, I had the opportunity to share a personal time with him and Asa from Queens Royal College in his humble abode. And we sat there, we opened pizza, we began to eat and drink, and we began to talk. And that day was a wonderful day spent at Texas a and University. And I say that to speak of Dion's humility. There is a man who sat down on the ground. We went into the, the indoor sporting arena. And there are athletes who are performing there, who are um, running and stuff there. Um, and we had a wonderful time there to heat myself, Aza, walk around the track, spend some time on the campus. And when I left that campus to go back into inner city Houston, I remember Dion from the context of a humble young man. A fellow who can be a base and a bang, and a fellow who can really and truly just relate to people in such a very human and a very humble way. Those are the kinds of nuggets that I take away from the experience that we have. The first experience that I had with the text message, when he said to pray for him, a man who had a fear for God. The next experience I had with Dion is when he always come to Trinidad, and as the principal of Arima Boys Government School, he would always come and look for me. As he land on this shore, I get a phone call, and he will come to the school at ABG and spend some time with us. And I remember one particular instance when he actually spoke to my young boys, my young men, and he began to talk to them and encourage them and began to perform a role as an icon to them. And that day when Dion spoke to the young men at ABG, it was a massive crowd that was navigating around him, just like honey and a bee. And Dion will come every time he comes to Trinidad, he will come to the school and he will always brace us with his presence and he will always leave good words of counsel to the young men. And I had the opportunity to see Dion in the context of sports. Every time we have sporting events and once he's in Trinidad, he will come to the stadium. And I remember sitting down with icons like A.Z. Armstrong. And when Lennox here, what came to Trinidad and Tobago, there it is again, we had an encounter again. And I say that to say Dion has just been added to the cloud of witnesses, those who have gone before, those who have left a legacy in Trinidad and Tobago and the world at large, and those who will always be icons that young men and young people, by extension, can emulate. Dion surely epitomized a man who feared God, a man who was humble, a man who was extremely disciplined. Let me go there. On that day when I was at Texas A&M, 
We went out to the tracks and we were walking around the track and indoor and stuff and talking. We had a, a nice time of fun in the apartment. And Dion said, it's time to go training. And immediately Dion put on his hoodie, his green sweater, track pants, nice blonde beard, remember clearly. And Dion said, let's make it, let's move quickly. And we end up on the track. And when he got there, people, there was a transformation of a man who understood what it is to take his career very seriously. And Dion began to actually interact on the indoor arena with other athletes there. And I do not know if you know, but Dion was a big hero outside there. Because everywhere you walk on that campus in Texas a and people were celebrating, hey Dion, hey Dion. I'm sure he, he, he got more recognition outside there than right here in Arima. Because I began to walk with him through the campus and everywhere Dion walked along the route, the route of the campus, it was Dion, hi Dion, hi Dion. And I said, Dion, you're a, you're a celebrity out here, boy. And then we went to a hall that was renovated. And there was a big mural on that hall in Texas A&M and Dion is standing in front there running as leading the park. And he made a, a significant contribution in that campus and there's one thing that I would like to draw, or one thing I would like to say, Dion born too quickly, but the fact remains that he had created a legacy in a short space of time. I was quite amazed, or I am very proud to see a young man who started his career at 16 years old. And I know he has a mentor here called Charlie Joseph, one of the ABG men who passed through, passed through the Olympic arena too. And Dion will tell me, say, Mr. Fleming, Sometimes that, Mr. Fleming, every time I go to run, before I run that race, and after I run that race, I will always call Charlie before I start any heat, any event, and talk and counsel and pray with him. And when I'm finished that event, I'll always call him and give a level of accountability. He was an accountable young man. He was a disciplined young man because he knew how to manage his time and he will go outside there and, he, and I'm seeing all the Jamaicans there and him and everybody's celebrating Dion. And then my son and I had a departure. We went back to inner Houston. And the relationship continued thereafter. Ladies and gentlemen, you know you can always cut a fruit and count the seeds inside of a fruit, but you can never know how many fruits there are in a seed. And Dion represented a fruit to the nations, a fruit to the Arimian, a fruit to beyond Arima, and a fruit to the world at large. That is something that I will always remember that he will leave or he has left a legacy to all the boys at Arima Boys Government School. A legacy, one, of an athlete that was loving and are going there. He always remembered his mama. He always tell me, sir, I'm working and so on, so I had to send money back home to take care of my little brother. He always operated in a spirit of honor. Honor your parent, and your day shall be long. And Dion epitomized a young man who encapsulated all the values of honesty, dedication, love, discipline, all of the above. And I'm hoping that the boys who are online and the boys who are in the environment, I am hoping that you will take that chapter out of Dion but to take that to another level and make your country proud. Gone too soon, but the accomplishment that he has made will surely never be able to be comprehended. For a young man who started at 16 years old under Charlie Joseph and was able to go to Queens Royal College and his athletic career started there and was able to captivate or enter the Olympics three times and also world titleship, it is a Really, really, really good accomplishment. And I pause and I stop just to end by this. When I came inside of there, the hallway, I looked at Dion, the casket. And I paralleled the casket there with a young man with two dispensations. One, I compare him to a marathon runner. And in that marathon runner, when he runs the race, he's finished the race, the race is done. However, he epitomized a really runner that passes on the battle. And as he sat there, it's for us to be able to take the battle of love, the battle of discipline, 
the battle of honor, the battle of dedication, and all of the above to continue to pass the battle on from generation to generation to generation. I take the opportunity today to tell the family or to wish the family all the best in the future and to let you know that Dion did expire fully accomplished. May God bless you. Thank you very much, Mr. Fleming. To keep time, we are moving straight on to a representative from QRC, Mr. David Simon. Good evening to the family of Dion Lendo, the Right Honorable Minister Penelope Beckles, to all the friends and family, well-wishers of Dion Lendo. This morning, as I was preparing myself to go to school, to leave from Queens Royal College, to come here this afternoon, I took down a black suit. And as I took it down, it is almost as if Dion was there speaking to me. Now, for those of you who know Dion well, you will know that Dion had, I consider, three different types of laughs. There was the raucous Dion, that loud laugh. There was one in between, and then there was a laugh which said to you, you can't be real. And it was that laugh that I saw on his face. You can't be real coming to represent a blue blood wearing a black suit. Therefore, I'm clad from head to toe, even down to my watch, in blue. Because indeed, I'm here to represent and to send off in a grand way a true blue blood. Dion embodied everything that is, was, and will be Queen's Royal College. As principal of that sacred institution, I want to say to his mother and to his family, thank you so much for sharing him with us. His mother, I will never, ever forget, and I will give you that story as I end. She is a champion. She is a model of what parents... She is a model of what parents should be what they should represent. And to you, ma'am, I feel your pain. But when I chatted with you, your belief and your faith in God is going to take you and everyone that wants to lean on you through. You are a rock and someone that we should exemplify. I did not think it fair that I should bring greetings alone from Queen's Royal College. Because when Dion passed through QRC, I was not yet principal. So I reached out to two individuals who played a significant role in Dion's life, just for some few words from them that I will share on their behalf. The first set of words comes from an individual by the name of Wayne Meccano, an individual who played such an important role in all of our athletes in Queen's Royal College lives. This is what he had to say about Dion. Might I also say, even the paper is blue, Dion. I followed you to a T. Dion was a leader. He knew what he wanted in life and was fearless in achieving his goals. One could not help but love Dion for his charismatic way of life. He touched many lives in a positive way. What he accomplished in his short life would live on in our memory for generations to come. This came from the principal at the time, an individual who is known as Mr. Leonard Hingson, and he said of Dion, I never taught Dion, 
But of course, I knew him pretty well because of his relatively high profile in the school. There are always students who add to the stability of the institution. Not because they are brighter than the rest, but because they seem to be naturally grounded and focused. They have fun like the others and get into their share of mischief too, and Dion certainly did. But they just seem to be guided by good sense. They know the limit and don't stress us unnecessarily. So they really add to the character of the institution. I think Dion easily fell into this category of students. That is for, from the principal at the time when Dion attended Queens Royal College. When Dion attended Queens Royal College, I was the dean. And why I can speak so highly of his mother is I remember on one occasion having to deal with a disciplinary matter that involved Dion and another teacher. And as a dean, life is made so easy when you have parents who understand what their responsibilities are, who understand the vision and the goal that they may have for their children. And certainly his mother was that shining light. So as I end, I will just quickly say to you on that particular occasion, we dealt with the matter. It involved another female teacher in the school. Dion was so upset that he stopped talking to that teacher for a little while. But nobody had to say to Dion Lendor that that is not the right choice. So he found the time and he did it on his own to find that teacher and apologize to her. If you don't believe in symbolism and the power of God, I certainly do. Because as I entered Queens Royal College on the morning when we got the sad news, I had made an announcement to the entire school and we stood in silence for one minute to honor our fallen brother. That particular teacher drove in without knowing what had happened and she did not get the news. That teacher broke down in tears. It symbolizes the greatness of this young man. I am not going to stand here and speak about his athletic prowess. We know what that stands for. Ironically, what I am going to say, everyone else is going to say about Dion. We say the same thing because he was very consistent. He was a hard worker. He was very honest. He was humble. And in Queens Royal College, as I end, we have a saying that we say of our school, because we know we are the best. We say, magnum S QRC. Today, I am going to substitute QRC, and I am going to say, magnum S Dion Lendo. Stand strong, brother. We now come to his home club. We now come to Abilene, and we ask Mr. Shedley Branch, President of Abilene, to come and say a few words, Mr. Branch. Good afternoon, all. All protocols observed. My name is Shetley Branch, as Mr. Holly Boutoulier Jr. said, president of the Abilene Wildcats Athletic Club. And on behalf of the Abilene family, I wish to express my sincere thanks for all of you coming here to celebrate the life of our club mate, Dion Lendo. To his mother, Ms. Crispina, his sister, Leah, to all of, Ab of Dion's family, friends, neighbors, clubmates, teammates. Words cannot express the sincere sense of loss felt by all of us at Abilene on Dion's 
untimely passing. Dion's well-deserved accolades has been well publicized since the news of his passing. Three-time Olympian, Olympic and World Championship medalist, Bowerman Award winner, national indoor 400 meter record holder, world relay and Pan-American gold medalist, the list has, can, and has, uh, goes on. He was no doubt one of this country's most decorated athletes. It is therefore quite easy having outlined all of his tremendous achievements on the international and regional athletic stage to recognize and appreciate his talent. That said, I wish to challenge those who knew him best to throw your minds back before the accolades, before all the tremendous success, to a time when he donned an Abilene uniform. In preparing to speak today, I did just that, as my thoughts centered around Dion when he first began his athletic journey as a teenager. I reached out to Abilene head coach Charlie Joseph and coach and club secretary Mike Gibbs to share some of their earlier memories of Dion. They immediately smiled as Mike quickly pointed out that Dion's nickname for Charlie was Satan. As they recap that in Dion's early days, he hated training and would usually be missed after around two days. Charlie would routinely go to look for him at his home to speak to his mother when he missed practice, saying, Moms, this boy will be great. Please send him to the track. On these occasions, Dion would usually be found attempting to hide behind a lamppost when he saw Charlie's car break in the corner. Despite this initial resistance, Dion's talent, strength, and willpower, even at the very beginning of his track and field career, was immediately apparent to all who had interacted with him. At Abilene, running the big hill at the top of King Street heading into Calvary, during the off-season is essentially a rite of passage. All Abilene athletes at one time or another, including myself, would have run this hill and know firsthand the devastating impact it has on you physically. Charlie recalls Dion's hill running as almost insane and punishing, with Dion at one time having run 17 hills in one go. This solidified Dion's talent in Charlie's mind and recalls saying to the top Abilene athlete at that time, Dion, even as an upstart teenager, would soon beat him. Charlie, of course, was right. Later on, before heading off to Texas A&M, Dion stated that he wanted to put this record, referring to the number of repeat hills, out of reach, and then proceeded to run 23 reps. To this day, I believe the record still stands, making him the undisputed king of the hill. Dion was clearly a unique and very special athlete. In his first year running track as a Form 4 student in KRC, he made this country's curifter team and only missed out the following year due to him having to sit CXC exams. As with a lot of athletes, Dion was extremely competitive and was determined to beat all of the athletes who represented on the curifter team that year in his absence. Charlie recalls Dion training extremely hard that year to achieve this and was amazed that no matter how hard he pushed Dion, Dion would never complain. He wasn't perfect though, as Charlie fondly recalls that one day, Dion and his KRC teammates at the time, breaking Bish to attend intercall football, an intercall football match between KRC and CIC. Charlie recalls saying to himself, but wait them fellas, as none of them were answering their phones that day. And what was clearly a carefully coordinated attempt to evade Charlie that evening. 
Charlie recounted that he would do for them. And he next day at practice sent them all home for a week, asking if any of them footballers ever came to see them run. <laughs> this isolated indiscretion, however, clearly did not define Dion as he continued to be very coachable and hardworking, culminated in him being selected to represent Trinidad and Tobago at the World Championships as a 19-year-old junior on this country's 4x4 relay team. It is indeed exceedingly rare for an athlete, regardless of their sport, in their early years, to display the kind of talent and promise that Dion did. I imagine that it is the hope of all coaches dedicated to honing the talents of young athletes to come along one such as Dion. Dion was not only talented, but could read races and could often predict how and when to make his move to finish exactly where he wanted to finish. This track savvy saw him routinely ask, being asked by Charlie to fix that 4x4 for me. Tell me who and where you're putting where. This kind of trust in Dion even extended to national teams that he was a part of. Dion was to some a club mate, a teammate, and to many others a mentor, a coach, and a friend. He will sorely be missed, but will never be forgotten by all of us here at Abilene. To this end, on behalf of the Executive Committee of the Abilene Wildcats Athletic Club, we hereby announce that our annual track meet, the Abilene Wildcats Track Classic, will be renamed to the Dion Lendor Memorial Track Classic as an ongoing reminder of his value and friendship to all of us here at Abilene. May Dion's soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you. In the interest of time, we're trying to keep to our schedule um, because we should have been very close to the end by now. We would just skip right to Mr. Brian Lewis, the TTOC representative. We'll be guided by time in a minute. Afternoon, all. Those who have toured with Dion, especially with the Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee at multi sport games, will know that many times you hear Dion before you see him. And that's so far. Grieving is the soul's way of saying you matter. Grief is the price we pay for love. None of us expected to be here. It is surreal. But we are all here because Dion mattered. And that in our different ways, we loved him. Dion is because I still can't say was Dion is an extraordinary talented young man very ambitious patriotic and brave in conversations with him over the years his humility and passion always came true he was never afraid to ask the tough questions. I've told his mother, his devoted mother and sister, that Dion and I had many conversations, many hard questions, but we were always committed to keeping it confidential. But I can tell you, he was never afraid to ask the tough questions. Even though 
he felt that he always had to prove himself he embraced being in the spotlight and rising to the challenge against all odds his dignity determination dedication and unwavering commitment to excel and to make his devoted mother Crispina sister Leah his brother Jovan his coach Charlie Joseph coach Henry his friends his community his teammates his schoolmates he was always committed to making them proud and that stood out like a beacon Dion Lendo made a huge impact as a role model for other aspiring athletes and young people he was an inspiration to young people especially young people who had his backstory especially along the east west corridor and in the community of arima because when they looked at dion they looked at what he achieved they looked at what he overcame they believed that they too can do it as busy as he was he still had time for anyone that needed his ear guidance and encouragement and for those who saw in him a role model Dion Lender unlike many who talk the talk he led by example and he walked the talk his light shone so bright so many extraordinary achievements at such a young age sometimes life is terribly unfair as we come to terms with his passing those of you who knew of his battles and obstacles and disappointments understood the significance of his 2021 season and the excitement and joy he felt he was oh so looking forward to 2022 and beyond a wonderful and selfless son brother leader mentor he earned success but yet kept the door open and helped so many others walk through it you can ask them he was an ambassador for his generation and the next his emotional stamina was fueled by hope and the upbringing of his beloved mother Crispina Dion Lender will be remembered way beyond his cut short time here on earth he made a real difference to people's lives God makes three requests of his children do the best you can where you are with what you have now and there is a Yoruba proverb that says, when you stand with the blessings of your mother and God, it matters not who stands against you. Dion Lendo has left a message and a legacy of faith, of never giving up, and the gift of hope. He gave so many through his example and strength he found in God. Dion Lendo's legacy will live on. And for those who know him and who understood what his mother taught him will know then when he was called as he has always done he answered that call whether it is Calvary whether it is coach Joseph's workout coach Henry workout representing Trinidad and Tobago Abilene Texas A&M regardless he always answered the call he always stood up and we know who walked by faith and not by sight and understood the upbringing of his mother knew and know that when the call came on that fateful night he echoed the words of 2 Timothy 2 Timothy 4 verse 7 to 8 I have fought a good fight I have finished my course 
I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them that also love his appearing. Dion, rest in peace. In the interest of time, we're moving right along to our final speaker. We apologize to all those who were supposed to have spoken, but we now go to the Honorable Penelope Beckles, MP for Rima. We now ask her to come forward. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Let me, of course, acknowledge the Mayor of Arima, Alderman Kakni Kasime, as well as former Mayor Ashton Ford, Arimians, um, his mom, Christina Edmam, his sister Leah, Arimians, um, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs, Ms. Beverly Reed Samuel, as well as the advisor to the Minister of Sports, Mr. Serret. Let me indicate that the Minister of Sports is out of the country and therefore is not present today. But I know that she personally visited the mom and would have been here had she not been out of the country. In the interest of time, I'd just like to focus on two areas. During a funeral, we, we speak a lot about persons' achievements, their past expectations. But I want to focus on two areas. And it has to do with the importance of community. As someone who has had the benefit of seeing him run in the early days, I know we talked about his career from the age of 16. But I want to pay special recognition and acknowledgement to the residents of Tannis Lane, Mount Pleasant who in the main, I would say, would be responsible for the development of his athletic skills. Sometimes we forget that those Easter sports, those events when you run a little lime and spoon and a three-legged race, that is where the competitiveness and the development of an individual's sporting ability starts. So to fund joy, the NGO that had Easter sports every year, I want to acknowledge you. I want to acknowledge Tannis Lane for that community spirit and always remembering that you don't have to wait for anybody to develop your community and to encourage that community spirit and to use those opportunities to encourage young people to have a sense of hope. So to Funjoy, to Tannis Lane, to Mount Pleasant, I say thank you very much for the development of the Hendel. <laughs> to his mother, Crispina, who as a single mother sacrificed and did more for him than anyone can imagine. And I know it's very painful for her today, but I know that she's a very strong woman. And I know that the sense of values that she developed and she nurtured in Dion is what made him the very special person that he is today. Crispina, on behalf of everyone, you were a special mother to him. You will always be a special mother to him, but you were also special to the community of Tannis Lane. The values, the discipline, the hard work, what you instilled in him, and notwithstanding the challenges that you face as a single mother, you made those sacrifices and you were able to see that it transformed Dion into a young man that you were extremely proud of. And today I salute you, Christina Edmund. I know that there's a special request to set up a Dion Lendo Foundation. And I want to say to you as a member of parliament, and I also can say that the Minister of Sports also endorses that. You have my absolute and full support, and I will be right there with you 
in ensuring that there is a Dion Lendo Foundation specifically for the benefits of athletes who have challenges, especially financial challenges, so that they can achieve what Dion Lendo achieved. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, just a uh, mention. I would like to mention the presence of Coach Henry, his coach who came all the way. And special mention of Charlie Joseph, his other coach. Thank you very much, Mayor Kazemi. Um, Mr. Ford, different people of Arima who put their best foot forward to help all of those like Dion and will continue to do for all of those who are still here. We can say one last thing. There's a song that says, gone too soon. I've changed the words. Like a rocket blazing across the evening sky, God loved you. And like the sun setting, the rising of the moon, God certainly loved them. May you rest in peace, and now Father will take over and do the funeral service. Just a reminder before Mass for those receiving Holy Communion. Holy Communion will be given only on your hand. To receive Holy Communion, you will exit out of your pew along the markers along the aisle. Keep your mask on. Keep six feet behind the person in front of you. One standing before the Eucharistic minister or priest, you stretch out your hand, receive Holy Communion, say amen, step to the side, and place Holy Communion into your mouth replacing your mask thereafter and returning to your seat. Thank you. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Dion Lendor died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. Let us go to God's house. Enter into Jerusalem. Let us go to God's house. The God who raised peace. Let us go to God's house. We will celebrate. We will celebrate. We will celebrate. Oh, Israel. The name of the Lord on high. His name is high. 
to the eulogy. today to celebrate the life of Dion Lendo. Dion was a brother, a son, a champion, an athlete, my baby, my mother's baby. You know, and it's, it was a whole long thing, but I think I'm just doing it now. <laughs> it's not something that we prepared for. Um, we never thought that we would have to be the ones putting him to rest. We always thought that he would have a lot more life in him because he was such a joyful child always willing he was always determined to do the best that he could do in this life and in doing that give the best that he could while doing the best that he did to everyone else around him to lend in their support no matter what whether he was up or down he would still give you that support his humility, his determination, his passion for everything he did was something that was really admirable about him. You know, and to me, it's still a surreal moment. I still can't believe it, it, it happened because he's always so not there and I just look forward to the messages. To you, Leah. What I see, the girl. To you, Leah, when he's about to enter my room announcing himself. And you know, 
I sit there and I think about it and to know that there's going to be no more of it. It's really a heart-wrenching thing. Um, I just want to say, because I know we're pressed for time, and it is, it, just to everyone, let us all try to epitomize part of his life, to kind of take something that he would have taught each one of us, because I know he did teach each one of us, whether it was a neighbor, a friend, an athlete, a coach, we would have all learned something from Dion. And let us all take that what we have learned from him and let us practice it in our lives so that it will assist in changing a lot of what we did, humanity itself. And let us all remember him for the person he was for the loving guy, for that guy with that bright smile, for that guy who was always willing to help, no matter what, let us remember him for that. Let us keep him in our hearts. So my four by four team, there's no more sitting and planning my races. But you all can message me, I'll still help you all set it up like me and he did. I am always there and I know you all go out there and do what he wants you all to do, or what he would have planned with you all to do this year. All right, guys, so um, that's it for me. Just, let's, let's just remember him for who he was. Let us love him and keep him in our hearts. And may his legacy live on forever. Hi, a blessed evening to everyone. My name is Crispina, Dion's mom. And when I got the news, I was, according to the long time, saying like a bite of chili for two days. And on the third day morning, I lie there, not eating, drinking, or anything. And I heard a voice, Dion's voice saying, Mommy, be strong. And from that moment, I got the strength. Later on, not getting my child's body to come home because I say I want my child to come home. And I say, Father, give me something to hold on to. And I took the Bible and I opened it. And Second Chronicles chapter 29, Hezekiah started to reign five and 20 years. And he reigned nine and 20 years. And he did what was just and right. God was pleased. And I know God is pleased with Dion. And I'm saying, what I'm going to say today, and I sat down Saturday morning, I say I have to say something for my son. And the Holy Spirit, because I always pray and instill the power of prayer in my children. As my mother taught us, spiritual and moral values. And something say, get up and go in the mailbox, Saturday morning. And I went to the mailbox. And here I got this letter. And when I read the letter, I said, this is what have to be said for the athletes, for everybody. It came from E.C. Okoro from the United Kingdom. And this is what she had to say. My name is E.C. Okoro. I am from England. I ran the women's 400 hurdles at Iowa State, Uni State University. I would like to start by saying I am sorry for your loss. I could not imagine the pain you have all had to endure. Dion was the most amazing friend. I could have asked for, I am going to miss him, not hearing his voice, not receiving his messages, snapshots, and not being able to FaceTime. My heart broke on his passing. I was so excited for him to make the Commonwealth game team here in my hometown of Birmingham. I asked Dion, what team are you going for at, as Worlds or Commonwealth? Are happening so close together? Dion's response was, 
I am doing both EC, that's Dion mindset. Always setting his mind to achieve. I first saw Dion at track meet in the States when I ran at the Iowa State. And the energy he brought to his teammates, especially the relay, was so admirable. I remember the first time me and Dion started our friendship was World Indoor Championship in Birmingham. We had a snowstorm. And I asked, and I posted a picture of soup. And a few of Dion's responses were, bring me soup. Am I in Alaska? You should have been like, boy, check yourself. And this weather. Wow, I'm already frozen. Can't even reply automated response. Dion always had the best sense of humor. Throughout the years knowing Dion, he always made me laugh. His smile was warm. I will forever be grateful for all the times he wrote me in braining program when I was struggling with life at being, after being an NC 2A's athlete. One of the many things Dion told me is, the past holds us back and creates barriers that's unnecessary. That's why he came up with MRTM, mood set. Set the mood for what you desire, not what has transpired in the past. Dion, many words of encouragement were a blessing to me and many others he touched. Always willing to help others and to just be his goofy, funny self, loving self. Dion loved his family and had a heart of gold, more golden than his jewelry, I would see. May God comfort, bring you all healing, and may he hold you all in his arms as you go through this sorrowful time. May the grace of God fill you with peace as you remember that one day we will all be reunited in his kingdom. Crispina, thank you so much for raising Dion. Dion's strength, caring, and loving spirit definitely come from you. I know that your faith is strong to bring to him during his, this difficult time, God is with all of no, with you now and always and carries you in all his everlasting arms. Dion was such a credit to this world. Now an angel in heaven, I believe he fulfilled his assignment here on earth. I find comfort that he is in heaven smiling down on us and Dion is now in God's loving arm. Like many other athletes, my season here, I'm out, will be dedicated to your son, brother, uncle, nephew, Dion, Christopher Lender, the man that encouraged, motivated, loved, cared, who was intelligent, athletic, who gave, who was diligent, who made you laugh, who was always available to talk and always have a smile on his face and who put smiles on people's face. Thank you for giving us a part of Dion's, all of Dion in all our lives. You raise a godly man. I am forever grateful. The mood will be forever be set and his legacy will forever continue. This ends the letter of Isi. Isi, I thank you for all the words, the kind words that you said of my son. He was very humble. And I thank everyone who gave me spiritual upliftment, words of consolation and comfort when my son wasn't coming home. I was, as, as I said, I didn't make ashes and I didn't make a urn, I wanted a body. And God, I spoke to him, he answers prayers. So people talk to God, he answers prayers. That in our time, in his time, it was a very hard, how much, seven weeks, but in the end, we got our wishes, and he will be laid to rest, his soul in his heaven. And I thank everyone, and I thank you, sir, for all your spiritual deeds. Thank you.
Let us now stand and pray. O oh God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant, Dion Lendor, whom you have called to journey to you. And since he hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated now for the reading. The first reading, a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. See, I set before you today a blessing and a curse. Moses said to the people, See, today I set before you life and prosperity, death and disaster. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I enjoin on you today, if you love the Lord your God and follow his ways, if you keep his commandments, his laws, his customs, you will live and increase, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you are entering to make your own. But if your heart strays, if you refuse to listen, if you let yourself be drawn into worshiping other gods and serving them, I tell you today, you will most certainly perish. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth in witness against you today. I set before you life or death, blessing or curse. Choose life then, so that you and your descendants may live in the love of the Lord your God, obeying his voice, clinging to him, for in this your life consists, and on this depends your long stay in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He would give them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Not so are the wicked, not so. For they, like winnowed shaft, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. heart create for me O God and give me again the joy of your help. Praise to you Lord 
Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, the Son of Man is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes, and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. Then to all he said, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross every day and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. But anyone who loses his life for my sake, that man will save it. What gain then is it for a man to have won the whole world and to have lost or ruined his very self? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a short while. God is good. All the time. And all the time, all God the time. is good. The gospel today ends with a question. A question which would have you and me, you and I, all of us, contemplate what value do we give to our life? Because essentially, that is what the question is asking. How do we value our lives? Do we value our lives in such a way that we live it in order so that we inherit what the world can offer? Or do we value it in such a way that we live knowing that there is a better and greater tomorrow, knowing that even while we strive and we fight up in this present age, the promise of something greater to come would therefore allow us to live a life that has a certain quality and feel to it in the now. And so I'm sure, even as I would have done as I sat through most of the tributes paid to our brother Dion this evening, that many of you here in the church and those who are following this live stream and thereby participating in this celebration of his life would have been asking yourself a similar question what value do I place on my life for if I were to summarize all the tributes that were paid to Dion this evening it would be to remind you and me that there is a life beyond now and that while we thank God for his blessings and his goodness and his gifts to us to be used to build up the community to build up this space to build up this world in which we live and move and have our being we do it in such a way that we make a contribution that is lasting and a contribution that will also say that we have a God who cares so much about us that he has given us as a gift to the world 
But this God is so merciful and just. This God knows about our own shortcomings and our failings. And so he is saying to us, we have a choice. A choice to be made. And that choice is to exhibit the qualities with which he has blessed us. Or to contain them. The God who loves us has given us a choice. To choose between death and decadence. Or life and prosperity. But whichever you choose. And please God we choose the way that leads to life and prosperity. Whichever way we choose involves discernment discerning first of all what to choose and on what basis do we choose because you see that would allow us to live in a way that gives a certain quality and depth to our living and that is what I think about Dion that would have captured our imagination and would have stimulated us to do the best that we can do. Choice is never easy. Choice involves weighing the pros and the cons. It involves deciding what do I give up in order that I may inherit something else. And so whether we choose good or bad, and as I said, the first reading points us to an understanding that to choose good is better. But as we make that choice, we come to realize that for good or for bad, we are to surrender some things. We are to give up something. We are to enter into that place in our lives where we understand and live a depth of self-denial. And so we deny ourselves of the things that may seem beautiful and with the greatest of impact in the world. But as we do the discernment, we come to realize that they are just glittering. They are as gold before us, but they do not have the staying power. They do not last. They do not give us what we are really desiring. They do not take us beyond the now. They keep us right here. And so, in the discernment, in the surrender of self, that you and I are called to live as we make a choice for life ought also to bring us into that place where our lives conform to the will of God to the word of God so that that word helps to transform and shape us in a manner that will make us good and effective witnesses of his goodness among us gone too soon we say all the accomplishments that Dion would have achieved in his life. You know, we praise God for that. The impact of that achievement saying to you and to me that we have a choice to make and that choice is to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be in whatever sphere God has gifted us to become. The best witnesses because church you and I know that we live in an atmosphere an environment which is challenging but it is challenging because of the various choices that punks upon us that come to us and if we are not strong enough as the gospel says to know that in making that choice we are to take up our crosses daily and follow the Lord. If we do not enter into that self-denial, into that place of surrender, then we will not be able to make or to run the relay. If I, if I were to use the athletic language this evening, in tribute to Dion, we would not be able to run the relay effectively so as to win the prize that awaits us. I took note that on the front cover of the program a quotation which was also referred to by Mr. Brian Lewis of the TTOC 
So I need not repeat that. But as I stand in Dion's presence this evening, I remembered when we first met and marked the date Wednesday, 25th of July, 2018. We did come to the parish office to have a conversation with me. And in talking with him, trying to build up his faith and so on, I was I referred him to the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 9, in which Paul uses that analogy of runners in the stadium, all running to win a prize, and that prize is for a wreath that will wither. And I remembered in the context of our conversation, saying to Dion like Paul, run like that, run to win. Church, while we live in this life, and we make the choices that will allow us to be the best versions of ourselves. We are to run fast. We are to run so fast away from those things that may want to lead us to death and decay and decadence. And run forth even faster to those things that will engage us in life. Those things that will bring prosperity to the self, to the family, to the community to the nation as Dion has done and indeed to the world. That's the kind of race that you and I ought to run. Knowing that the wreath that we give here on earth, yes, the accolades, all that will come to naught. But we run in such a way, church, that we know that there is a prize which awaits and that prize does not wither. We know that there is a wreath that awaits and it doesn't wither because that wreath is called eternal life. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, what does it profit a man if he were to gain the whole world? If he were to gain everything that this world could afford? If he were to gain everything that this world could give and suffer in the midst of that, the loss of his soul? What is more important is that we nurture that relationship that we have with our God so that that relationship rooted in faith and trust in God would allow us to be the best. Given what I heard this evening and from my own little interaction with Dion, I could see that. That he would have lived in a manner that expressed his depth of faith in God. And particularly that the gift with which he won his race, the gift with which he won his prizes in so many different arenas, so to speak, in different places, for different races, the manner in which he did that showed a depth in that relationship that he had with his God, who will at the end of the day be his final judge. And so we come this evening in a spirit of thanksgiving and praise. We come to tell God thanks for Dion. We come to tell God thanks for the exemplary way, in spite of his own human fail, uh, frailty and weaknesses, that he would have lived his choice. His choice to be the best athlete. His choice to be the best representation of a Trinidadian and Tobagonian the best representation of a young man who would have struggled through the years to make the achievement that he would have received to bring fame not only to himself, but to his country. When I drive through Mount Pleasant, for example, and I see his portrait, I say yes. A constant reminder that indeed God raises up persons who have made good choices so that as we know them and when we know them and we can celebrate their lives, we too would have an encouragement to do the best that we can be in discerning the choices for life and prosperity that we have to make so that at the end of the day, we contribute, we make something contributory to this space that we call the world. It is to that God, the God who gives life, the God who challenges us to life, 
and the God who will call back that life to himself, that today we give all the glory, both now and forever. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we stand now and we join our prayers to his. In baptism, Dion Lendor received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Our brother Dion was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your Son. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly these sins against your love and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, Hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The family and friends of Dion seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother Dion. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, give off peace and heal of souls. Hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. For we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be seated now as a collection will be taken up. We 
stand at the table you set. Yours as we eat the bread our hearts can forget. We are a sight of your life with us yet. We are yours. We are yours. Take our blood. We ask you to take our hearts. We love you. Take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. We are yours. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise, praise and the glory of his name, for our, our good, good and, and the good, good of all, all his holy church. church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Dion Lendo, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. 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 You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and the giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jason, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Dion Lendor, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, sin of the world, have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away. Of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof. roof. 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. down and know my soul so weary when troubles come and my heart burden be then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up so I can stand on mountain. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am
For your mercy never fails me And all my days I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God Cause all my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will sing of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest nights. You are close like no other. I've known you as my father and I've known you as my friend because I have lived in the goodness of God And all my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Yes, I will sing of the goodness of God Your goodness is running after it's running after me Your goodness is running after it's running after me With my life laid down I surrender now I give you everything Running after me, your goodness is running after it's running after me. Yeah. Your goodness is running after it's running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running now. So, so good With every breath that I am able Yes, I will sing Of your goodness of God All my life you have been faithful You have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Yes, I will sing of the goodness of God I will sing of the goodness, my God 
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother Dion Lendor may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please sit for a short while. And so, my brothers and sisters, trusting in God, we have prayed together for Dion, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Dion again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. commend our brother Dion in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ he will rise with him on the last day we give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Dion in this life they are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ merciful Lord turn toward us and listen to our prayers Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ 
and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ensure on certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God our brother Dion and we commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him. The Lord look upon him, show his countenance to him, and bring him peace. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. And perpetual life shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Let us now stand and bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto thee, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And may the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Dion, my brother, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you on your way and lead you into the holy city, Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you and with Lazarus, who was once poor, may you have everlasting rest. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. I dare to pray from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death's away from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Show the from the earth to the cross, my death's to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the 
from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh, bless the Lord, oh, holy servants of the Lord, who stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord, come bless the Lord, holy servants of the Lord. Praise the Lord! He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord our God. His name is Jesus. 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 Oh, he is the King. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord. His name is Jesus, 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 oh, he is the king. God is a good God, yes, he is. God is a good God, yes, he is. My, my, my God is a good God, yes, he is. God is a good God, yes, he is. He lifts me up, he turns me around, he plants my feet on higher ground. He lifts me up, he turns me around, he plants my feet on higher ground. God is a good God, yes he is. God is a good God, yes he is. My, my God, God is a good God, yes he is. God is a good God, yes he is. He lifts me up, he turns me around, he plants my feet on higher ground. He lifts me up, he turns me around, he plants my feet on higher ground. Praise you in the assembly, our hearts are full of joy. You alone are the Prince of Peace. You alone are the Mighty One. You alone are the Holy
I went from the youngest on the relay team that I ever got my life. No, I'm now I'm like the, the old like on the team. And I just want the younger ones to have the same opportunities I had without going through the same things I went through. We were ready here to come out and try to get a medal. We had a good race yesterday in the heat. Just had a few things to clean up, but we came out here tonight and we did it. I done, you know, I'll try my best, you know, if I have to go out there and with a, with a sign, I know, and, and, and argue every day, I'll do that. But, you know, I don't have time to do it right now because I still train, still try my best. So I just want them to have an easier road. Those behind me, the younger ones, I want things to be easier for them.